Hello techies, Jason with Innovations Technology Group here with this week's ITG Tech Weekly. We have a lot to cover, so we're going to just jump right in. First, I'd like to start off with a fix that I found this week. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, out of the box, the Linksys Atlas Mac 6E Wi-Fi mesh system was found to have some issues on the 5 gigahertz network. The issue would arise if you had auto channel turned on, which it was as default right out of the box. Uh, this caused the router to destabilize the five gigahertz network by what I believe is constantly switching channels in order to find a better channel. Luckily, I found that locking the routers into one particular channel and not set to auto allowed the router to work without issues, thus solving my five gigahertz slowness, non-responsive, and any other the other small little latency issues that I was having. I go into complete details in that video, so be sure to watch it. It's a bit long, uh, but I showed what was happening, and then after deploying the fix, I show everything working like it's supposed to, and then finally, I show you how to fix the issue. Speaking about Wi-Fi, the Google Pixel 6 seems to be having its share of Wi-Fi issues. According to a Reddit post, Google posted a message saying, thanks so much for reporting this issue. We're sorry that you're experiencing it. After some investigation, we identified the root cause and determined that it impacts a very small number of devices. Of course, we realize this is a poor experience and immediately developed a software fix that will be available in the next Google Pixel update rolling out in March. If you'd like to explore other options in the meantime, please get in touch with our support team, which is prepared to help you. Lately, there have been quite a few people on Reddit posting that they're having Wi-Fi issues along with some Bluetooth issues as well. Uh, from what I can tell, it appears that what is happening is, is that when the phone goes to sleep, it is turning off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then when you wake the device, it is not automatically turning those options back on and you have to manually go and turn them on on the device. Hopefully the fix that is rolling out of the March Pixel update will fix the issue and help Google Pixel owners to have a better Wi-Fi and Bluetooth experience. And I can tell you, having Wi-Fi issues on my Linksys mesh router, I know how frustrating it could be when the Wi-Fi is not working like it's supposed to. Uh, and your Bluetooth devices, because hey, let's face it, in this day and age, we all have at least one probably Bluetooth device uh, connected to our phones. Let me know if you have a Google Pixel 6 and you've been having issues with the Wi-Fi. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know uh, because then I want to follow up with you to find out that after Google rolls out their fix in March, did it fix that issue for you? In other news, Microsoft's Chromium-based Edge browser is coming up on Safari as the second most popular browser on the internet. According to web analytics service StatCounter, Microsoft Edge is now used on 9.54% of desktops worldwide, which is just behind Safari at 9.84%. Of course, Google Chrome still holds the number one spot on the leaderboard with 65.38% of the market share. Uh, Firefox, which is made by Mozilla, uh, is currently holding at 9.18% of the market share. Since launching Edge that's based on Chromium, which is the same rendering engine that is used by Google Chrome, Edge has gained a lot of upward momentum due to being able to use Chrome extensions across its browser platform. Now, Microsoft Edge also has quite a few built-in features, such as being able to have your tabs move to the left side of the browser uh, versus being at the top, which is a feature I love due to the fact I usually have a lot of tabs open. And when they're at the top, they shrink and it gets real hard to see what tab belongs to which site and I'm moving back and forth from. So uh, that's quite a handy feature for me. Uh, other features such as being rebates have been introduced in the browser, which notifies you when you're looking at products online and tells you if it's a good price, has a coupon, or if it has another price on another site that's better than the site that you're on. Then if there are rebates for the site that you're purchasing from, you can simply click a button and you can earn rebates with your Microsoft account, real cash for real purchases. Another feature that I personally love is the fact that Microsoft Edge will sync all your settings, favorites, and any extensions that you've had installed to your Microsoft account so that if you log into another browser, it will automatically set all that up for you. Uh, and it's very helpful, especially if you're moving back and forth from different PCs or from PCs to Mac. 
Uh, even going from PC to mobile, some settings and favorites, all your favorites get transmitted over to those devices as well. So it's a very, very helpful feature. I absolutely love this feature. Now I have uh, all of my favorites and settings and extensions you know, installed across the board where I need them the most. Um, and that's on my iPads, my iPhone, my Microsoft Surface Duo 2. I also have that on my PCs and my Mac, including the Surface Pro 8. So it's real nice to have one browser that I can use across the board and everything just syncs and I don't have to go through and set everything up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for today's episode of ITG Tech Weekly. This is episode three. I appreciate you watching until the end of the video. Uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button below just to let me know. Uh, on this channel, we do reviews, unboxing, how-to videos, and news videos about tech. And if there's anything that you'd like for us to review, please let us know about it, whether it's a product, a website, or just about anything. You know, please send us a message here on YouTube. We'd be glad to take a look at it, and we could quite possibly make a review or video about it. For now, again, thanks for watching, and I appreciate you. Again, my name is Jason. I'm with Innovations Technology Group. Just saying thank you, and make it a wonderful day. Bye now.